and knowledge and fun is Tic Tac Joe. And now, here's our host, Wink Martindale. Hello, thank you. Thank you very much. Hot dog. We got a good game. We're just ready to meet a new player to take on our current champion who's in the Navy. Let's meet him right now. Bob, if you will, please. Our current champion whose winnings and cash and prizes total $6,300 is a Naval Lieutenant who recently got married, Tom McGee. And his opponent is the bank loan officer who's also worked as a restaurant manager and a librarian, Meet Tia Jones. Dia, make yourself at home. Yes, I am. Is it kind of difficult for you to walk out here and, yeah, I feel right at home. Oh. <laughs> Dia is an unusual name. Tell me about that. Well, it's a nickname. It stands for Diana, Clara, Helena, Maria, Roxana, Loretta, Pope, Joan. My God, it must cost her, <laughs> <laughs> must cost her a fortune to monogram her towels, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Whoa, how'd you get such a long name? Well, you see, I'm an only child, and I had a lot of relatives that my parents wanted to keep happy. So they start out with Diana as the goddess of the hunt, yeah. Clara is my old aunt in England, yeah. Helena's my mother, Roxana's her friend. Uh, and pardon I'll me, dear, but do you mind if we uh, oh, continue? Because this is a 30-minute show, and we might just run out of time. Nice to have you here. Thank you. All right. Hello, Tom. Hi, Wink. Tom has won 6,000. No, yeah, that's right, 6,300. Started to say 3,600, Tom, but I'd uh, be shortchanging you. $6,300 in cash and merchandise. How'd you meet your lovely wife? She is just gorgeous. Well, thank she looks you. like she's about 14, but actually she's 15, right? <laughs> No, she, no. Yeah, she still gets carded for coke out there, so... No, really, you know something? She, when she gets to be 21 or 22, she's going to look like she's about <laughs> 15 right. or 16. She has that youthful look. How'd you meet her? I met her at a party when she was with someone else. Oh? <laughs> May I... D dare I ask what happened to the other poor fella? He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> I'll bet. Well, Tom, welcome back, and congratulations you, from Wayne. the last show, and good luck against this lady in a new game. Here Thank we go. You. Wife's name is Ginny, by the way. Let's take a look at the board and see what subjects we're going to deal with in this game. The subjects are nicknames of 40s, animals, famous blondes, women, writers, maps of nations, colors, situation comedies, or sitcoms, and solar system. All right, Tom, as we begin, which category would you like to start with? Uh, I think I'm going to try the solar system link down the lower right. All right, here's the question, Tom. Astronomers determine the time zones for the entire world by using this famous English borough as the prime meridian. Name this English borough. Greenwich. Right. Greenwich Mean Time. Put it next to it. Let's move the categories into different positions on the board. Throw a couple of hundred dollars in the pot and move over to Dia Jones. Well, I'll have to stick up for the women and go with women writers. We're at $300 to the pot, Dia. In a best-selling autobiography of 1979, this actress told of her much-publicized marriage to a famous actor. The title of the autobiography contains her name and the appropriate two words, by myself. First, I want you to name the actress and then name her famous husband. Think of that for a few seconds. <laughs> Dear, the name of her autobiography contains her name and the appropriate two words, by myself. Name the actress. Lauren Bacall. Right. Name her famous husband. Humphrey Bogart. Yes, that's right. For an O in the center box and $300 in the box. Let's shuffle now and move it back to Tom on his side of the ledger. Tom? Oh, uh, Wink, I think I'll try, uh, animals in the lower left. All right, first time in the category of animals. This unique family of jungle animals includes such species as the marmoset, the mandrill, and the rhesus. Name it. Apes. Is that accepted? No, Wink, it is not. Well, I'm sorry. Unique family of jungle animals. Uh, monkeys. the answer here is monkey. Monkeys, not apes. So let's move the categories around. Five hundred dollars in the pot. And Dia, we'll move back to you for your next selection. Um, gee, I like the solar system. I'm going to go in the upper corner. All right, solar system. Astronomers often define a distance of approximately six trillion miles as one distance, the distance that something travels in one year. Name it. Speed of light. Yes, a light year. That's correct. So an O goes there, another 200 in the pot, let's move the category, $700 in the pot, Tom. Uh, have to go with sitcoms in the lower left of the block. Sitcoms, situation comedies for a diagonal block of Dia. Tom, in this popular sitcom, B. Arthur starred as the liberal, outspoken wife of appliance store owner Walter Finley. For a block, name this sitcom. Maud. Yes, correct, for a block. 
So we put an X there and continue as we move the categories around and add another $200 <laughs> to the pot. Dia. I'm going to block with those animals. Animals for a block. Dia, one type of wild fowl includes the mandarin, the mallard, and the eider. Name this family of game birds and you'll block Tom. I collect them. They're ducks. Right. <laughs> Couldn't very well miss that one, could you? Good for a block. So we put an O there, $1,100 in the pot. At this critical moment, may we take a break? Yes, we may. We'll be right back. Champions on Tic-Tac-Toe who are lucky enough to defeat five opponents. We have some special transportation for those folks. Tom, four more wins over your opponents, and you'll win one of these. Here it is. It's a brand new car! Two-door coupe, the mid-sized personal luxury car with a spacious, comfortable interior and classic exterior. The Century Two-Door Coupe by Buick. In addition, great reflections gives your car the 2020 shine. A shine so deep down clear, it's a perfect vision. Great reflections from DuPont. Now, back to you, Wink. Four boxes left on the board. $1,100 in the pot. Tom, Dia, take a look as we shuffle them around. Tom? I'll have to go with solar system in the top center, Wink. Yeah, to block Dia, answer this on the solar system, Tom. This famous comet has appeared at fairly regular intervals since it was first sighted over 2,200 years ago. Its next appearance is predicted in 1986. To block Dia, name the comet. Halley's Comet. You got it. That's right. So block there. Put an X there. Another $200 into the pot. Players, we have three boxes left now. The categories that come up will decide the outcome of this game between the two of you. Let's shuffle. Dia? Let's try with Maps of Nations. Maps of Nations is the category she selects. Dia, take a look at this map of Northern Europe. This country is famous for Elsinore Castle and Hans Christian Andersen. Name it. Denmark. Yes, that's right. Another O goes on the board for Dia. O goes in that box. $1,500 in the pot. Players were down to two boxes. The categories in them will determine the fate of this game. Take a look. Oh. Famous blondes and solar system. Tom, <laughs> select, go please. With solar system again, Wink. Solar system again in the category. Good for you last time, Tom. For a block of Dia, answer this correctly. This planet is the farthest from the sun and takes 248 years to revolve around the sun. For a block, name it. Pluto. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Put it up in that box. Add $200 to the box. Playing now for $1,700. Dia, how many boxes left? Oh, there's only one. <laughs> Very good. One box left. The category that appears there will decide if we have a tie. Let's shut it. Oh. Wouldn't you know it? Almost has to be, doesn't it? It comes down to solar system. Dia, if you answer this question correctly, we will have a tie between you and Tom, and then we'll start a brand new game. Here's the question. In astronomy, does the term pulsar refer to a planet, an asteroid, or a star for a tie game? A star. Yes, we have a tie game. T-U-L-S-A-R, star, pulsar. We put an O there, add a final $200 to that pot, but that pot is going to be anything but final. It just means we're going to start a new game with $1,900 in the pot. We're going to show you nine new categories, and that pot will continue to grow with every correct answer. Here are the new subjects. Finish the list. Biographies, television cops, famous doctors, mixed words, United States history, funny men, fairy tales, and botany. <clears throat> Tom, I know who you have in the audience pulling for you. That's Jenny, your wife, lovely wife. Dia, do you have anybody here? You're standing over there. You look so lonely. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I have two of my best friends here. And they are? Joseph and Nick, and my son, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Hey, he's one in the red shirt. We he can't sure miss is. him. So you have three people out there rooting you on to victory. All the way from San Diego. All right. Let's find out if she is indeed going to be victorious as we get another game underway between Tom and Dia. There are the subjects, Tom, and as our champion, you select first. I'd like to go with mixed words in the middle, please, Wink. All righty. In the middle, we're $300 to the pot. The subject, mixed words. Tom, take a look at these mixed-up words, please. I want you to unscramble the letters to reveal the names of two common flowers. Think about that. Tom, 
for that center box unscrambled the letters to reveal the names of two common flowers. Daisy and right? Tulip. Yes, Daisy and Tulip. Daisy on top, Tulip on the bottom. That's good for the center box. Put an X there. $300 added to the pot takes it up to $2,200. Let's shuffle. Dia Jones, your turn to select. Where would you like your first O to go on that board? Well, for my son, I think I'll try fairy tales. Fairy tales? All right. Sonny, this one's for you. What's his name again? Bruce. Bruce, this one's for you. In this fairy tale, Pinocchio is a wooden puppet that comes to life. Name the kindly old man who made Pinocchio. Geppetto. Right. He got it for him. So we put an O there. Let's move the categories around. And $2,400 in the pot. Tom. Wink, I think I'll go with uh, mixed words in the middle right. Okay. Did well the first time. Try this one. Take a look at this mixed up word, Tom. Unscramble the letters to reveal the name of something that is the spice of life. Variety. You got it. B-A-R-I-E-T-Y. Let me put an X there and shuffle again. $2,600 we're playing for, Dia. My big choice is funny men. <laughs> yeah, big choice is right. Dia, to block Tom. Many of Max Sennett's silent comedies featured a group of nutty policemen whose pursuit of wrongdoers usually led them on a crazy wild goose chase. To block Tom, name these comic cops. The Keystone Cops. Yes, that's right. Max Sennett's Keystone Cops. Put it over there. Let's shuffle again. $2,800 we're playing for, Tom. Pot getting bigger. Uh, Wink, I think I'll go with uh, mixed words again in the uh, top middle. Third time in the category of mixed words for Tom. Take a look at this mixed up word, Tom. Now, unscramble these letters to reveal a member of the American military. That would be a Marine. <laughs> yeah. You don't dare miss that one. That would be almost as bad as missing Navy if it came up there. So we put an X there. Four boxes left on the board. Exactly $3,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Dia, take a look. Select. Bids? Pardon? Oh, oh that's bios. bios. <laughs> yeah, yeah bios. That. Bottom center, biographies. Dia, following the Watergate cover-up, this former member of Richard Nixon's legal staff wrote a popular biography entitled Blind Ambition. To block Tom in the center, name him. Haldeman? No, John Dean. John no. Dean, Blind no. Ambition, remember? I think Haldeman wrote one too, though, didn't he? All right, we still have four boxes left on the board. Still $3,000 in the pot. Tom, your selection as we shuffle. Wink, I'd like to go with Famous Doctors for the win, please. If you do answer the question correctly in the category Famous Doctors, Tom, you will win $3,200. That would take your grand total to $9,500. Tom, here's the question. This ancient Greek physician is recognized as the father of modern medicine, and the medical profession's famous oath is named after him. For a total of $9,500, what is his name? Hippocrates. Yes, you win! Congratulations, Tom. Hippocrates, the answer, and of course, the Hippocratic oath is named for him. Tom, $9,500 in cash now belonging to you. Well, cash, that includes those good prizes and that trip to Tahiti, I believe it was, you won on the last show. Who knows what is in the offering for you if you defeat the dragon in just a moment. We'll find out shortly. And Dia Jones, you won $250 for that tie game. And it was a pleasure meeting your son and the rest of your group out there in the audience. I'm sorry you couldn't be around a little longer, but that's the name of the game. Well, Tic -tac -toe. thank you, Wink. And besides, he's from San Diego, too. <laughs> Can't be all bad, can he? No. no. Dia, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Dia Jones from San Diego. All right, we're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll take our stab at the dragon. Be right back. Some of our departing contestants will receive Golden Grain Macaroni and Cheddar Dinners with enriched double macaroni, creamier cheddar cheese, and other natural flavors from Golden Grain Macaroni Company. And West Bend's 10-cup automatic quick-drip coffee maker features a double filter system that lets you brew delicious coffee with or without paper filters. Also, spring feeling, spring water shampoo and conditioner with pure natural spring water for soft, clean hair. Spring feeling, spring water shampoo and conditioner. Now, back to week. Tom, at the end of the first show, you said this first time I've ever won anything in my life. You were excited then. you got to be <laughs> extremely excited now, right? All right. All right, let's try to beat the dragon. Come on over and okay. join me, will you please? <laughs> Yeah, like you said, you don't have to fade inside. <laughs> That's for sure. 
All right, behind the numbers, a various amount of money on a dragon. All you have to do is reach $1,000 or more to win a very nice prize package. Last time you were here, it was a trip to Tahiti, among other things. Mm -hmm. For this next bonus round, though, Tom, uh, we have gifts for what we term contemporary living, and here's Bob Hilton to tell you about it. Listen. Your first gift for our contemporary living, Tom, is this modern microwave oven. It's from Gibson, a microwave oven with digital timer, defrost setting, solid-state variable power control, and Gibson's Tempo Sensor cooking probe gives you dependable, cooked, clean, fast-paced cooking. And contemporary technology will protect your car, Tom. It's this electronic car security system. Page alert, silent car alarm, and paging system. Four-watt transmitter sends a radio signal up to five miles to your dual address beeper, warning of a theft in progress. Page alert at car stereo and electronic stores. And for the ultimate in contemporary furnishings, it's this attractive waterbed with built-in stereo. And America the Elegant Waterbed in a luxuriously padded leather look with stereo headboard, including radio and cassette recorder. From America the Elegant. And finally, Tom, your next gift uses contemporary technology to help run your home. It's worth over $1,100. It's your own home computer. Commodore Business and personal computer designed for all levels of business and home management. Portable, easy to set up and operate for all your needs, furnished by Commodore. This contemporary living package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,450. <laughs> Somebody yelled at, uh, at Tom, every home should have at least one home computer. He said, yeah, now I'll be able to balance my checkbook for the first time in history. Avoid the dragon or you lose everything. Get the ticket in the tack and you automatically get to keep the dough. Now let's cover them up, move them all around. And the numbers are one to nine. And Jenny is out there to help you make the selection. Would you like to go first or shall she? No, she did it the last time. I'll go with her again. All right, Jenny, what's it going to be, my dear? What's number one? Number one. All right, what's behind number one? Is it money or is it tick or tack or $150? Good beginning. Let's get back to her now. Jenny, what do you think? She'll take it in order. Number two. Next to one. Number two to add to $150. Money? Yeah, $300. $450. need $550 more. Back to Jenny. Number five. Number five, all right. She's going to bypass three and four, go to five in the center, and add to $450. Pack. And if you check, you get uh, a little more money, $550. You got to back up to the top. Number four. To the top again, all right. One, two, five. Now back to three. Let's see what it is. Is it a tick? 400. Getting close. So you got 850. Need $150 more a tick. What's it going to be, Jenny? I want number six. I'm so six. She wants number six. It's hard to think about numbers looking at her. Number six. Needs $150 a tick. Oh, you need 50 more dollars. So close yet so far. Four, seven, eight, nine. One of them's got the dragon behind it. Don't pick that one. Nine. Number nine, Jenny, you sure about that? Number nine, you need $50 or tick. Do we have it behind number nine? Oh, no, the one number we didn't want to get. Doggone, there goes that uh, chance to reconcile the bank statement. Oh, gee, with her writing, I tell you, it's tough. But early in the show, perhaps you can come back and try again if you win the next game. I'll be glad to. Let's look at the other two numbers, because you still have that trip to Tahiti. That's, uh, everything is not lost in our bonus game. See, there was tick right down. It, number eight would have given it to you. But you still have considerable winnings, a grand total of $9,500 in cash and merchandise. Don't turn that down. Let's play a new game. Get over there, Tom, and away we go. All right, Bob, let's get off and running with another player. Who do we have? He hopes to become a professional writer, and his interests include basketball and going to the movies. Meet Keith Silver. Hello, Keith. Hi, how are you? Tell me about your writing. I write comedy mostly, Wink. I would ask you to be funny, but that's putting you on the spot. Uh, Comedy, no. how's it going so far? Well, people are laughing, but they're not buying. <laughs> that mean, does that mean, Keith, that it's hard to find work? Uh, as a writer, it is. What are you doing in the meantime? Now? I work as an accountant for a girly magazine. <laughs> nice place to keep track of figures, wouldn't you say, guys? <laughs> accountant, figures, you'll... When you're driving home later, you will get... That will come to you, and you'll just die laughing. Right, Keith? I hope so. Bad line, I know. Good Keith, for the uh, business. <laughs> All right, let's play our game. Here we go. Keith and Tom, take a look at the board. The subjects for the game are astrology, women in film, names the same, famous sites, clothes styles, basketball, Wild West, foreign authors, and there's that all-important secret category. That can be any category at all, and of course, any time you answer a question correctly in the secret category, it automatically doubles the pot. Tom? Wink, I'd like to go with clothes styles in the center, please. In the middle, clothes styles. We're at 300. I'll describe two fashionable types of sweaters, and you name them. One, 
This soft, silky sweater is made from goat's wool and bears the name of a region in India. Two, this sweater, which buttons down in the front, bears the name of the English Earl who led the charge of the Light Brigade. Think of those, Tom. <laughs> two fashionable types of sweaters. Name this one. The soft, silky sweater made from goat's wool and bearing the name of a region in India. Wink, all I can think of is Madras, and that's not it. No, Kashmir. Kashmir. Ah, and the other one was Cardigan, named for the Earl of Cardigan. Let's move the categories around right. and see what happens as Keith makes his first selection. I think I'll take basketball in the lower right. Basketball. Question. Keith, at UCLA, this famous center was known as Lou Alcindor. He later went on to play professional basketball for the Milwaukee Bucks and the Los Angeles Lakers under a different name. What is this name? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yes, the great basketball player. Put it over there, 200 to 5. We'll take a break and then come back after. Stay tuned, our Tic Tac and Tom celebrate. First thing on the next show, of course, we'll resume Tom and Keith's battle against each other. Bye-bye. Some of our departing contestants will receive the Daisy Super Beauty Curl Styling Comb. Those are removable combs. Swivel card and dual voltage. Beautiful hair anywhere from Daisy Products Company. And Mr. Coffee, a gift pack featuring America's number one coffee maker, genuine Mr. Coffee accessories, including extra decanter and Mr. Coffee filters. Also, Madge, the manicure says, try mild palm olive dishwashing liquid. Palm olive softens hands while you do dishes. Make loads of big, long-lasting suds. Plus, from Hawaiian Tropic comes an attractive beach mat and Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils. Hawaiian Tropic, the tan of the island. And Step Saber, it has ammonia to clean better, so its wax can shine better. Get Step Saber for a clean, clear shine. Jack Berry and Dan in right front of